Hello and good morning, everyone. Thank you so much for being here with us today. Without further ado, what I would like to do now is welcome up onto the stage Virginie Helias, who is the Chief Sustainability Officer with Procter & Gamble. And then alongside her, Ed Huber, who is the Chief Sustainability Officer with the Clorox Company. Virginie, can, and can I ask you to kick us off? Um, we saw water and, and, and the food waste um, behavior there really being embraced and really being something that consumers anticipate doing more of. And I wondered if you could kick off and just start talking to us about some of the observations that you guys have had around driving consumer behavior change as it relates to water. The role of brands is really to um, enable um, socially and environmentally uh, responsible consumption. You know? and, and so the most recent example is, is what we've done on, on Cascade. Uh, dishwashers are the most water efficient appliance in the home. Uh, it uses about four gallons for each load. When you do your dishes by hand, you use four gallons every two minutes. So we've calculated that actually, as of eight dishes in your dishwasher, it's better to run your dishwasher as long as you don't pre-rinse your dishes in the sink first, obviously, then, then you defeat the purpose of, of saving water. So running your, you're running your dishwasher every day so that you can save water. And the potential of saving water is up to 100 gallons a week per household. So, and people are totally amazed when we give them the facts, you know, and we've never seen such a strong conversion of intention to action. So to the point, you know, when you have compelling acts, when you make it easy and rewarding and, and also fun, look at the campaign, uh, people are actually closing the gap. That's so interesting, Virginie, and thank you um, for the for the broader beginning to, to root us. So Ed, let's hear from you. Talk to us about, um, about Clorox, give us kind of the um, give us the overview in terms of uh, your guys' approach to those nine behaviors and how you're embedding sustainability. Yes, um, you know, thanks for the opportunity to to talk with you this morning, uh, and greetings from smoky Northern California. You know, obviously Clorox has been put in a, in a spotlight, and we have a, a unique opportunity or challenge that um, our company is named after our our flagship brand. So we're both a company and a brand, and so. With that comes uh, tremendous responsibility, and I, I think I want to I want to play off something that uh, Virginia said, which I think is absolutely right. That as we have tried to capture the imagination and drive sustainability in a meaningful way, um, we can't do it just through a communication lens. It has to be a through a, a business lens, and you know one of the things that we're finding with uh, you know, with our cleaning products, for example, is that you need to go in and understand through a, a, the total power. I mean, you mentioned uh, this morning in your opening comments, uh, Etienne, about the fact that really what we want to do is unleash the power of brands. And so certainly there is an opportunity to improve the way we communicate the, the benefits. But if you go ask consumers, do you want uh, a different way to, to clean? Do you want something other than, uh, um, you know, water in a spray bottle? They'll say no. <laughs> they, they're happy with what they have. So it requires leading brands to take that and say, okay, how do I understand the behavioral changes I need to get over um, and unlock the total power so that if I could come up with a refill system that was easy for the consumer and then had the benefits of taking trucks off the road, taking water out of the, out of the, the process, then you've got kind of a win-win. A but we, we launched before the pandemic a very successful version of our wipes that were uh, compostable and they did exceptionally well. And so again, that's a good example of using innovation and communication to give the consumer the benefit that they want without the trade-offs. And obviously the, the benefit all goes to the environment. What advice do you have for brands as they look to help consumers on their journey towards sustainability? Aside from join brands for good, what would you say? <laughs> join well, brands for good, that's that I'll, I'll another one. <laughs> Every brand can be more sustainable. Um, we have lots of brands in our portfolio that from a consumer perspective wouldn't be viewed as sustainable. But every one of those brands gets manufactured in a, in a plant. Every one of those brands has some form of packaging. Um, and so encouraging the brands, and at Clorox what we've done is the accountability is actually not in me. The, the, it's, not, it's not in the sustainability team. It's in the individual uh, business P&L owners. 
And that's where the metrics are. And they are accountable for do, reducing their packet footprint. They're accountable for being on a cadence to make sure that their manufacturing facilities get zero waste to landfill within an aggressive time period. Whether or not that translates to consumer communication, that's really up to the brand owner and the equity. But what's not open to them and what is not open for debate is that they will make improvements because the fight that we're having and, you know, um, you know, Clorox and Procter & Gamble have actually worked together for many years on uh, the Glad brand. This is not one where it's competitive, it's collaboration because we are dealing with speed and scale. We have to not only deal with this problem, but we have to deal with it quickly and we have to deal with it at scale. And so the, the more we can not let anyone off the hook, every brand needs to play. Uh, and, and I always tell people that if I'm successful in my job, uh, I'll be out of it in a year or two because instead of me being the CSO, at Clorox will have 8,800 CSOs because that's where the real magic happens on the plant floor uh, in where all the processes exist in the company. Go attack there and you will find tremendous value.